I'm not, I'm not sure you can use that. I'm not tenured yet. An engineer, a math professor, and a sweet corn breeder. With our powers combined, we are three guys and a bottle of bourbon. What could go wrong? Brian, what did you buy? All right, welcome back to another episode of Three Guys and a Bottle of Bourbon. Tonight we uh, are going to test out Midwinter Night Drum. So we all lucked out, thanks to Brian especially, uh, who lives further west than the two of us do, uh, and was able to get some Midwinter Night Drum. It is a limited release from High West Distillery. They do it every uh, winter. It's kind of their way of saying Christmas is coming, uh, so try something new from us. They have it labeled. Uh, this year it's Act 8, so it is the eighth bottling of this, and it is named after, uh, what is that famous play from Shakespeare? A Mid Midsummer Night's Dream is what it is named after, so they do all the acts and everything like that. I am not educated in he, he English. Is a, he is an engineering professor or, or teacher, folks, not a not an yeah. English teacher. Yeah, he, nope. he's only he's only teacher. He's not educated. Don't worry. Yeah, to and give I say you an idea as a teacher. Yeah, to give you an idea, spell check doesn't work for me. I have to Google stuff. That is how bad I am at spelling. So no math. I know math. Very a lot of math. Very good math. Um, it, it take it takes a uh, a secure man to admit that. Yes, I enjoyed in, fr my... in front of all six of our YouTube followers. Yep. Uh, we are up to 14 subscribers. Thank you very much. And over Ooh, okay. 200 views. The, the, those, those placement ads that you're running really seem to be helping. Speaking of which, please hit subscribe. We'd appreciate it. If Brian <laughs> then, would be doing better on our TikTok account, man, we'd be blowing it up. Oh, but, I know. You know. All right, I'll figure out how to spell it. Chuck on Instagram has got over 100 followers. Just saying. But he is the pretty one. I'll give him that. Yep. So anyway, back to the bourbon. So this is a limited release. It is, we were able to, in one of our blind tastings previously, we had Act 7. So that was last year's bottling. It's really good. It is some sourced whiskey. So it's MGP. And it is also uh, some of High West product. So if you've ever had from High West Rendezvous Rye, it is the Rendezvous Rye, but it's just finished in port barrels. So let's give this a try. I have mine pre-poured, ready to go. I just opened mine for the first time. I'm pretty excited. Don't make so, it seem like you were prepared here, Brian. I've been waiting on you for the last 30 I'm, minutes. I'm the least prepared every, every week. I, I mean, it's only fair that everybody knows I am the least committed out of everybody to this. Um, I'll, I'll let that go on record. So when when this all blows up, I'll, I will, you know, more multimillionaires over this uh, YouTube video, I will only take the... 30, you know, 2%. So you guys can cut the rest evenly. I mean, I'm just hoping for media samples of bourbon. And when we get that, Chuck and I get it. And you have to go find the bottle yourself. Maybe I just get 32% of the... No, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Uh, so, night, so, so as far as the color goes, um, it's pretty dark. Uh, I, I'd actually look at the color here. Uh, probably a dark copper. Definitely that red tint from the port finish coming through. Yeah. What are we getting on the nose? Going with Delicious. their, yeah, I was going to say going with their media statement, Christmas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too early for Christmas. It's November 8th. Give the Gosh. turkey his month. That's what I say. Give the turkey his month. I would say fig. Like, I, I kind of get some fig. I guess that's where I'm getting the Christmas from. Figgy pudding. I'm going to get like a hint of cinnamon. Mm hmm. And then on the palate, definitely get some chocolate. I think that, I mean, the traditional rye flavor still comes through. Nicely. Mm -hmm. the, the port finish doesn't overpower it too much. It definitely mellows out the rye spices, though. So that's, true. that's a great way sure. to describe it. I would say, yeah, if you've had a rye, when you first have that rye, like that first sip, you're going to get all the 
the spicy finish and everything like that with this the port really sweetens it and gives you a mellow finish but you taste like i taste the rye spices in the back of my throat and it just keeps going and going and going it's a great finish yeah that's one of the good things here is the you don't get that overwhel overwhelming pepper rye finish but you do get a lasting finish which is really one of the things i look for in a nicer bottle is if that finish can give me some oomph without going too far and then lingers for a while. So I'm very happy with that finish. All right. So let's do the final breakdown here. <laughs> Keep it short and sweet tonight. So it is uh, about $100. You can find it. Some places might charge about 120 If you can find it for anywhere from 100 to 110 it's right where it should be uh, of course the availability is very limited because it is their uh, winter limited release it's the only time you can get it if you live near utah you've got a much better chance of finding it apparently they have it at the distillery and it's limit two at the distillery so it's very easy to get if you live near utah uh, which they are out of park city utah so if you live near there you've got a good chance and I would definitely go pick it up. Uh, the nose, what do we want to give that? I, I'm going to three and a half. Yep. Yep. Let's go. All right. So three and a half, easy, all in agreement. Unanimous. Perfect. It's, it's nice to find some agreement. Yes. Mm. During this time. <laughs> One of the few times. Or the palate. That I'm at a four. This is nice. Okay, see, I was actually being at a four, and I thought, uh, I don't think the guys are going to agree with me on this one. No, uh, I'd also be at a four, definitely. Okay. It's got it, a great... It, this is strange. Yeah, it's got a great palette. It's a unique palette. Uh, you're not going to see that except in kind of a finished product, which we all tend to like, like Bardstown bourbon and other finished things. So that's part of the reason we like this. And your finish, what do we think? I'm also at a four. It just keeps going. Ooh, we're going to get some disagreement. Uh, yeah, I'm at a three I, and I, a half. Yeah, I, I'm going three and a half. Um, it, it's a strong three and a half. I don't know. Charlie, make, make a, you have 10 seconds. Make, make, make a case for your four. Go. Yeah, for me, like, I'm still getting it. Like, the, the pistol goes, the, the, the pepper and the cinnamon are still lingering. Like to me, that's the palette just goes into the right from one to the next into the finish. Um, I mean, it's basically finishing like Michael Jordan here, like at the rim. Mm. It's good stuff. Okay, I, I, I could be talking to you. You might have convinced me, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I would say I could be talking to the four. Brian, can you, you were a strong three and a half. Can you talk me down from a four to back to the three five? Or are we just going for No, no, we're going four here. Um, All right. You know, I think. I think one of the things I was not fully appreciating was the transition between the palette to the finish on this. It's smooth, seamless. Um, the lingering effect I do like. Um, sometimes I look a little bit more complex in the finish, but um, and this is a strong four. You're, you're honestly, I was nitpicking probably to say three and a half. Yeah, and you get all the great stuff you want from a finish. It keeps lingering and lingering. Like I can still fill it, uh, but the port finish definitely mellows it out to where it just keeps going but not as like i'm thinking like stag jr that when you get that finish it's like a burning finish this is a nice pleasant just yeah no just finish yeah yeah you're you're getting the flavors the cinnamon and the pepper and then he, honestly even i still even get some of that that, that port that sweet mm -hmm. that even that kind of comes through all the way definitely. through so Final decision, are you uh, going to hunt this? Are you going to buy it if you see it? Or is it just, you know, a pass? I know what I am, so. Brian, kick us off. Uh, I'm clearly a hunt uh, as far as this bottle goes. Um, so going back to the start, I was able to get all three of us a bottle. I drove an hour away to get lucky enough to find a single bottle there. Um, and thought that was all I would get that. Well, I got two other bottles that day that we'll review uh, later, two other High West uh, limited releases. Uh, loved my day with those three. I get back to, to 
town, get a call from a friend that says, hey, I heard a rumor, there's some midwinter nights, there's another place here in town. So yeah, it's like almost 10 o'clock at night, with the store closed at 10, I'm racing across town to see if I can get there. Sure enough, so I buy another one, another place out of food, I buy another one uh, for all three of us that night. So it, was, it, was, it was a great day. I, I, I hunted. <laughs> all right, Chuck. All that, all that for hunted. Okay, if anybody's still awake, um, yes, I, I would hunt it, all, uh, hunt it as well. So actually, I picked up a second bottle after Brian had already got me one bottle, just because I couldn't pass the price. So actually, I found mine for eighty-five dollars. So definitely anything in that less than one twenty, I probably would start to second guess at one twenty. Yeah. So for me, it's definitely a hunt every year. Every year, I want to get a new midwinter night drum to compare to previous years and everything like that. Um, and then as far as a, a backup bottle, like Chuck said, if you find as like you bought your bottle for like a hundred to 120, which for your first bottle, absolutely pay that. If you find a second bottle on the shelf and they're asking a hundred or less, I'd buy a backup in a heartbeat. No questions asked as far as having like a third or fourth, I don't need that, but definitely hunt it. Definitely have a backup bottle for the right price. So. And for a frame of reference, one of the bottles I bought was 117. The other two were 112. Didn't think twice. Yep. So that's this year's Midwinter Night Drum. So thanks for tuning in. Keep drinking. Cheers. <laughs>